before the crown has even settled onto her head. The new Miss USA is embroiled in a controversy all over a question about health care during last night's pageant. Do you think affordable health care for all U.S. citizens is a right or a privilege and why? I'm definitely going to say it's a privilege. As a government employee, I am granted um, health care. And I see firsthand that for one, to have health care, you need to have jobs. So therefore, we need to continue to cultivate this environment that we're given the opportunity to have health care as well as jobs to all the American citizens worldwide. That response is causing a far left freak out online, all for daring to have a reasonable opinion, mm -hmm. right? I hate this, I hate this idea that because you say healthcare doesn't always have to come from the government, essentially what she was saying, mm -hmm. that that means that you want everybody to die or something. I don't understand. Exactly, that, that's, that's a, such a false choice, so yes. to speak. Good for Cara for, for um, speaking her mind and not being afraid to be a little bit different. Um, I agree with her. I think healthcare is a privilege, not a right. And I like the fact that she's pro-jobs at 25 years old. Yeah. Um, she, I hope she voted for Donald Trump, who is our jobs president. But that being said, um, I, like her, I like what she had to say, and, and, I, and I think it's sad in our country that um, uh, the, the people who attacked her online uh, can't handle diversity of thought, exactly. diversity of opinion. Um, we should all learn from one another and, 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 and weigh different opinions and come to your own conclusions, but without attacking her. She's obviously an intelligent woman. She's going places. Uh, she's uh, Anyway. I, and so I wish she got more respect from her comments. So here's the good news, right? As a former contestant, I can tell you, you should not be judged on the content of your answer because we're going to have different opinions on these issues, obviously, but the delivery. And so I was texting with one of my friends, and he says, uh-oh, D.C. just gave the conservative answer on health care. She's going to lose. I said, no, they're going to do the right thing. And fortunately, that judging panel did. They were presumed to be more liberal as a judging panel, but they still crowned her at the end of the night, which I think speaks volumes about the system and what it does. As for her point, I agree. Healthcare, a lot of people get this wrong. It's not a right uh, in, the, in terms of enumerated right. Uh, it's a privilege. But her point, I don't think that's what she was saying, Kat. She says that it sh affordable health care should be a privilege for, and, and jobs are important. But what about the working poor who get up every day and go to work and still don't have health care? I think that's an, an important issue as well. Republicans need to recruit her to run for mayor, and hopefully uh, <laughs> viewers will help me recruit her. But look, for <laughs> most step down, David. She's a rocket scientist. Well, she, she is a rocket scientist. Exactly. Fair enough. <laughs> she is a bright, bright. We don't want to lose her. Right. Well, we want to keep her in yeah, government. We need safe. more like yeah. her in government. Uh, can I just throw something out here? The right versus a privilege argument. If it's in the Constitution, uh, it's, it, a right. it's, it's a right. And mm -hmm. nowhere in that Constitution do right. I say you point. have a privilege to getting health care. John Roberts may disagree. He, he saw it right. a different way. Yeah. Right. And that's why we have Obamacare. But good for her. Yeah, bravo to her. That was fantastic. Oh, I just hate this idea that if you can't get something from the government, that you can't get it anywhere else. Often private solutions are better. Right. And when you have this kind of alarmism of everybody's going to die, if you go to a private solution, if you even mention a private solution, that keeps you from what, finding what could be the best solution. But I don't know, uh, Kat, if that's what she was saying. She happens to work for the government. I, don't, I didn't get from her comment that she's saying that everyone's health care has to come from the government as much as it should come from their job and their place of employment, whether that's private or public sector. I think the problem for me is, yeah, I think you should work and you should have health care accordingly. I hate that there are many of us that do work and get out of bed, and that's why we have the working poor, many of whom voted for Donald yeah. J. Trump, because they believe, as people that participate in our economy in this way, health care should be something that they can afford. For most Americans, it's not about privilege or right. It's about service. And if you can't get to a doctor because of the doctor shortage we face, if your insurance company has left because they don't want to be a part of Obamacare anymore, you can't get service. And when you do, you want to make sure it's good quality. That's why junk lawsuits need to be dealt with. Look, there are many things the Republicans in Congress need to deal with with health care, and it starts with service. It's not about privilege. We, it's not about rights. We are having a, a doctor crisis right now. Unfortunately, I was in uh, Denver, Boulder, Colorado over the weekend. My son spent the day in the emergency room, my mm -hmm. wife, on Mother's Day, right. the doctor a fantastic doctor, Dr. Dorfman, you're, you're amazing. He pulled me aside and said, you know what's going on here? Good doctors are, take, are, are pushing back on insurance. They're saying, mm -hmm. I'm going to do uh, private, private uh, practice without insurance because of the bureaucracy and all, all the the hurdles are making our doctors go through. Yeah. We're 100% right. We're Absolutely. having a doctor shortage. All right, don't go away. We've got a special announcement.